All right, Leo. Let's get your card reading for July 2017. And for all the moon people out there, full moon in July is on the 9th in Capricorn. And the new moon is on the 22nd of July. And it's in Cancer. So you're watching three videos on my challenge, challenge, channel. <laughs> Your birth sign, your north node, and your rising sign. <clears throat> All right. So, Leo. Let's see what the cards are saying for you. One more. Oh, my goodness. All right, Leo. The first one is the queen of swords. All right. So what comes to mind is changing jobs. So as soon as I see the card, it just like pops up. All right. So you have the Queen of Swords and it's all about writing yourself a new life, if you will. A new page, a new start. Okay. Because you have the Death card right after that. So I feel... That this queen of swords is about you know writing resumes writing a new chapter of your life something is ending and it has to do with um, money like um, work earnings maybe something that you have to do new for the six of coins to continue flowing okay so if you need to change up something within work all right, new resume, like really preparing yourself, Leo. So writing up something new, starting something new. All right, it could be something you've done before, but this is something, starting something new. Ace of Staves is, this is truly finding the courage to get it started. Which is not hard for Leos, but this particular uh, interest that you're doing, or passion rather, because you don't just find it as an interest, it's a passion you are going to not only for you to be qualified if you will but find people who are qualified in it that know what they're doing and have them placed where their power their strength is to help you along and remember that you are constantly learning in this new endeavor this is not just you you know saying okay this is how i see it this is how i know it, it needs to be done Right, but you, you're also going to have to constantly not judging yourself, but allowing yourself to keep learning as you go. Again, not taking on more than you can handle. So as soon as you find that, okay, this is a little bit more than, then make changes to where it won't be, um, so overbearing for you you know tacking on another person or finding finding a way to keep it going without you stopping what you have to do so a lot of people might get hurt feelings um, a lot of emotions of the heart it doesn't mean that it's something important that you should be worried about just because someone's gonna have a broken heart it sounds cruel but it really isn't so if someone's gonna receive a broken heart from this in some way maybe it's a new opportunity a new way for them to think and for them to grow okay i don't feel like this heartache is going to be yours in some way yes but but most of it is not going to be something for you to necessarily worry about because it's more like it's giving someone else a chance to move out of the way if you will okay and to allow better things to come or other people to be happy or just want something better to come along the knight of swords is like you're in full fight mode or power mode but you're still you're doing it in a peaceful way if that makes sense okay so the whole reading let's see you have three cards that are sword cards you have two cards that is fire which is staves you have one cup card 
you have um, one coins and you have three, two major arcanas. You have the death card, which is transition and end to something, right? The hangman card, which is about new way of looking at things or understanding things, um, thinking. Um, like for me, it's a strong card of a new way of looking at something. So when it comes to using your words, it's like, you know, at some point, like you, you're still going to be you and express yourself, but you're doing it more in a strategic way where it's not, you're still getting your point across, but you wouldn't say it as raw as you would. And that's just going to allow everything to flow um, faster, right? So the power of the queen of swords, words, communication, right? That form of energy. So yeah, Leo, happy July. And I look forward to seeing you guys for the August videos. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time.